So it's just me this week guys, Jack is on holiday, so I'll be bringing you the predictions for the latest round of Super League fixtures as well as the World Club Challenge. Uh, just looking back to last week and it wasn't a good week for me with the predictions, Jack won by a landslide, I'm not going to go too much into it but it's won all overall now, so I want to get my revenge this week and we start on Friday. With a West Yorkshire derby, two local rivals as Castleford face Wakefield at the Jungle. This promises to be a great game. Castleford started the season with two brilliant performances, two brilliant wins, but given a bit of a reality check last week in the south of France, but they are suffering numerous injuries, so you can kind of let Darrell Palace side off uh, with that blip. Wakefield, on the other hand, after their poor performance in the opening weekend against Hull Car, then the week off because of the postponed fixture, came back last weekend and they were absolutely superb against Warren and they really dug in in difficult conditions and two late tries got them over over the line 18-8 against the Wolves, a shock result. They'll be going to the jungle buoyed with confidence but it's a ground they don't have a great record at and Jack has sent me his predictions as well this week, forgot to mention, so it'll be still Ben versus Jack and he's actually predicted Castleford to win by four points in this fixture. I tend to agree with him. I don't think there'll be much in it. One or two scores. I've actually gone by Castleford by eight. I just think they'll have the edge over Wakefield. Both sides, like I say, have got injury problems. But me and Jack both going with Castleford in that one. Uh, also on Friday night, there's two, two other fixtures. Uh, the first of which is Hull KR face Huddersfield. Now, Hull KR started the season really, really well. They got their opening day win against Wakefield. And they put in a great showing in the Hull derby the week after. But last weekend, they completely collapsed against Leeds, getting absolutely hammered at Henningley. I don't think many people predict, uh, predicted that result, and it would have come as a big, bit of a shock to all KR fans, especially Tony Smith. And they have not got an easy game this week. They are at home, but it's against the Huddersfield side, who are the only team left in Super League with a 100% record, having won both their games so far. A gritty win against Salford last week. Uh, backed up their opening day win uh, away in the south of France against Catalans and they will really fancy their chances uh, going to Hull KR and making it three wins from three. Jack certainly fancies Huddersfield's chances. He's gone Huddersfield by 20 in this one. Now, I think I'm looking at this game and I'm seeing, definitely seeing a response from Hull KR. Huddersfield have been brilliant for the first two weeks so you would tend to side with them. However, I'm actually going to go for a shock. I'm going to go for a whole KR win. I think this Super League season is going to be as unpredictable as ever. And I think this will be an unpredictable result. And I think Hull KR will get the win by two points in this one. Now, the final game on Friday is another intriguing one. As Warren and Wolves take on Toronto Wolfpack. It's been a baptism of fire for the Wolfpack in Super League this year. Three games, three defeats. And it's been a real struggle. This, this talk of Tony Gijo coming into the side uh, for the game at the Halliwell Jones Stadium. Against the Warren and side who... Were really unlucky on the opening weekend, then were brilliant against St Helens, almost a faultless performance. But then last week, albeit like I say in difficult conditions, they fell to a loss at Bellevue against Wakefield. It's a game that the Wolves fans would have expected to win, and I feel this is a game they will expect to win as well. Jack certainly thinks they'll win it. He's gone Warrington by 14. And I expect them to win it too. I think Toronto are really struggling. I don't think the balance of the side looks right. They defeat against Wigan last week. They were in the game, but in that final 20 minutes, they were, they really collapsed and Wigan ran in a, a number of tries to eventually run out comfortable winners. And I think it might be a similar game at Warrington on Friday. I can see the Wolfpack being in it, but I just think Warrington at the end will pull away and I think their class will show. So, unfortunately, this isn't the week for the Wolfpack's first game. For me anyway, I'm going Warrington by 20. I think they'll win comfortably. And we move on now to Saturday. And like I said, Super League this year, I think I look at every game and every game intrigues me. And this is another one, Salford against Leeds. Salford edged out by Huddersfield last week after a, a good performance the week before against Toronto winning. Uh, whereas Leeds, I mean, it was so unpredictable. They were so poor on the opening game against Hull FC. And then they were absolutely brilliant against Hull KR last week. So, very unpredictable Leeds at the moment. Albeit we're only, what, three rounds into the season. They've only played twice. It's a tough one to call. 
I'm going to have to just go with Leeds by a score, I think. They will just have the edge over Salford. Salford will have a lot of players uh, gelling into that side. And I think Leeds will fancy their chances of going there and getting the win. So I've gone Leeds by six. Jack has also predicted Leeds to win. He's gone Leeds by ten. So we're both going for Leeds in that one. And then later on on Saturday is the real showpiece of, uh, event of the weekend, the showpiece event of the season so far as St Helens for Sydney Roosters in the World Club Challenge. Now, St Helens got a big, big win against Hull FC on Sunday. I think at our time they were trailing against the Black and Whites, but they really turned it around in the second half. Scored a flurry of points in a short period of time. Look, what Saints do best, they did it on the opening weekend against Salford. And they did it last week, put that blip against Warren and behind them, and they will be full of confidence going in against the Sydney Rooster side, the NRL Premiers, the back-to-back -back NRL Premiers, who will come here and will rest their captain board corner, Trent Robinson, saying that his captain has played a lot of football over the last two, three seasons, so he wants to give him a rest, wants him fully fit for the start of the NRL season. Will the Roosters regret that? Well, we'll come to find out. Jack certainly thinks they will. He's going Saints by eight. I, I, I ummed and ahed, but it's really difficult to call. So the Roosters, the NRL, it's supposedly the better competition, but they haven't played a game yet. It's always the same scenario at the start of every season. The Super League side's played a few games. He's getting into the run of things, whereas the NRL side coming over to a different climate, the other side of the world... They've not played yet, which makes it difficult. But I just think, I mean, watch their performance against Wigan last year. Wigan run them close, but the Roosters really dug in and showed that they do have that grit to get over the line in those arm wrestle games. It's what the NRL sides do best. And I think, I think the Roosters may just win this one. Uh, I'm, I've gone the Roosters by 10. I mean, I could change my mind as we get closer to the game, but I just think the NRL side will just be that little bit too strong for St Helens. I hope I'm wrong, but we'll find out. And then the weekend rounds off on Sunday when Wigan face Hull FC in another game that's very, very, very difficult to call. Wigan, like I say, have they've been a bit unpredictable. Like many sides have so far this season, they were... They were Okay against Warren on the first weekend, albeit against a, a Wolves side down to 12 men for most of the game. They were really poor against Castleford in round two. Uh, the Tigers winning that one at the Jungle. And then even against Toronto last weekend, I thought Wigan really weren't great for 60 minutes of that game. They turned it on in the final quarter to run out comfortable winners. But not convincing so far from Wigan. As for Hull, brilliant on the opening weekend against Leeds. Decent in the whole derby, but they really did collapse against St Helens last week. They they kept Saints trialless in the first half at the Kirkham Stadium, but a couple of mistakes from Jake Connor and and they really did just fall by the wayside against Saints. Saints running in a, a number of scores, like I say, in a short period of time, and that will worry Hull fans. On it, it will have worried Lee Radford, and they've got a tough game this weekend going to the DW Stadium. Uh, Jack has gone Wigan by six. I've gone Hull by four. I, again, I really do feel like this could go either way. I remember a similar game at a similar time last season when uh, the game went to Golden Point and Mike Sneed kicked a drop goal to win at the D DW Stadium. I wouldn't be surprised if something similar happens this time. But like I say, a very difficult game to call, as are all the games this weekend. All very, very close encounters. Um, I think... It's going to be diff uh, it's going to be interesting to see how we go on, um, and I'm really intrigued to watch that World Club challenge between St Helens and the Roosters. Um, I'm hoping that Saints can win it for Super League, but like I say, I do think the Roosters will come here prepared. Trent Robinson knows about Super League. He he won the World Club Challenge last year at Wigan, and I really think the Roosters will be prepared. But it'll be really interesting to see what type of game that is. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to another big week of Super League action. Let me know your predictions in the comments. Uh, which teams you think will get the win this weekend, and which teams you're really looking forward to seeing. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week, hopefully with company. Jack should be back, and maybe Paul as well. We'll see you then.